I figured for this video that I would give you a little bit of a tour of my yarn stash, if you can call it a tour. Keep in mind that some things you may not see because they're currently being used for a project. Um, and maybe that can be a completely different video where I go over all of the projects that I'm working on right now. Um, and if I do that, you'll see that toward later on in the month. Yeah, so here we are. Um, I keep my yarn, most of it anyway, in these great big things from uh, Ikea the last time we were there. My husband was like, those look like they would be useful. And I'm like, I can use those for yarn. But this one, well, it may actually have all of my acrylic, but then it has a little bit of like other stuff as well. It's just about all of my acrylic. There's one skein that's missing from this one. So, and the main reason it's not in here is because I haven't cataloged it yet and I just got it for a very specific project um, that I actually need to start on. I need to try to start on today. So, this is a yarn um, called Country Basket. It's Karin Jumbo? Karin One Pound? It's one of those. I don't know. It's a worsted weight and it's one of my favorite colorways of all time. It's gorgeous. It reminds me of winter. Even though it's supposed to be like a picnic baskety theme, I associate it with winter. Um, I actually found a, like, went in search of a wool yarn that I could also make something so I could make a, a wearable something for myself because acrylic makes, makes me sweat. So... <laughs> So I got a bunch of stuff, a lot of Vanna's Choice, because I love Vanna's Choice. Um, and then I have some Red Heart that I may use for like either hats or a teddy bear or something. I may use it for teddy bear. I had bought these actually to make pumpkins with when I, back when I was making pumpkins a hot minute ago. Um, but that was going to be for the stems. This yarn was actually a gift from someone and it's a very pretty color but I just I I need to find something to use it for so if anyone has any recommendations for what I can use this some of this stuff for it let me know more Vanna's Choice I'm pretty sure that's no that's Karn Simply Soft I can tell that um Vanna's Choice I use a lot of Vanna's Choice all three of these are Karn Simply Soft I use these for ornaments and I obviously Christmas colors I'll probably use that for something as well I'm kind of proud of myself I've actually gotten rid of most of my acrylic bulky yarn um, I did have quite a bit but I've purposefully used that the last couple years for Christmas gifts specifically hats for different people because those hats get rid of a lot of that yarn and a lot of times if I end up with stuff like I mean this is more than I mean I could use that for something but when I have a tiny bit of yarn left I either use it for color work for those bulky hats or I um end up doing like a pom-pom with it this one this is where we start with the wool a lot of it's fisherman's wool. Have a little bit of that, that's nitpicks. Um, wool of the Andes bulky, which I used for the Scottish tan. I actually have some of that in red as well somewhere around here. This is Malabrigo washed, which is their uh, a superwash worsted superwash wool. Um, and then I have a lot of patterns. I am planning on using a lot of this now to make like hats and stuff for something in November. But these and this one and then like there's a blue that's somewhere else because I already made a hat with it. Um, those I actually used to make my family's Christmas stocking. Here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, they actually match. Cool. <laughs> so this one also has a lot more wool, but... It's a little bit 
nicer most of it is anyway this is either merino or is like it's the more expensive stuff is what i'm getting at the merino the only merino that was in that other one was that washed it more expensive stuff that when i saw that like my local store had it i had to get it because no but i got this to make the kiddos sweaters and then this to hopefully make myself a sweater as well as this to hopefully make myself a sweater <laughs> when i bought this i thought it was going to be plum because that's what it looked like on the website here's a tip always look on ravelry before you buy yarn online look on ravelry search for that yarn and that colorway and look at all of the projects that people have made with it because that will because it'll be in all different lights different like white balances that will give you a little bit more of an idea of what it actually looks like in person this is that wool yarn that i was talking about that is as close to the country basket as i could get i still haven't decided what i'm going to make with it this was honestly kind of an impulse buy but it's gorgeous and then I have this orange down here that I want to use for something. I have six skeins of that. And then this, which is a, I think it's called like a darning thread. Yeah, darning and reinforcement thread. I have not darned with this, but what I usually do with it is I will use it to reinforce the toes and heels of socks. So I will add this to the existing yarn that I'm using to make it a little bit thicker and last a little bit longer because it's, it's literally like it's literally thread. It's not very thick. Um, but it's just like an extra bit of reinforcement. Um, my husband has a tendency to, um, go through the heels of his socks very very quickly so i got this to help sock yarns left over from various sock projects and this purple that i need to make something with and this is that wool of the indies bulky that i was talking about that's red it's got a bunch of it over here and then some more patterns that i had used before for some of my husband's stuff that i made for him for him for christmas one year over here which was in a separate thing is bamboo pop which i have set aside for a very specific project that i hope to make um slash design speaking about the bamboo pop so i have this color but then i also have two other ones in the, i have a, a teal blue that is um set aside for the same project just in a different color um and then some yellow that is for the color work in that project um i figured those would be pretty colors together so <laughs> we'll see how it goes but on top of that i have some other sock yarns because i didn't show you a whole lot of my sock yarn um i have the purple from my um seven keys sock pattern but then this isn't sock yarn, but it's like sitting back here for something. I have this, which I got from my aunt. Usually when we have a yard sale, we all do fiber work. So we exchange, if we're going to sell yarn, we exchange it first. I like let each other look at it. Very pretty. It's a bunch of different colors. And then um, I have this, which is deep dyed yarns, figment yarn in the colorway aquamarine. That's for a specific sock pattern. And then I have another deep dyed yarn pigment. I love this yarn. I need to swatch it a little bit better. Because I would have to go down in needle size, basically. Rosemary. I like the sparkles in that yarn. These, which I think I saw, I think I showed you guys in an unboxing video. The Pima. I haven't used it yet. Um, but I have all of those. And this one, I know I showed you in one. And then I have these which are i think patents croy patents croy fx and this is colorway clover colors um i got that because i knew that at least 
I knew that at least one of my kids would want socks in that because she likes rainbow colors. If you guys ever saw like the um, sort of yarn wall that I had at one point in my videos, um, and I would love to bring it back, but I need to figure something out with that. Um, I have those as well. They're just kind of tucked up right now. But lastly, I have... cotton um it's straight cotton but these are all like sort of dishcloth cotton like I would not like this they're, they're softish but I wouldn't they're not super soft I, th I don't know I can't remember what cra what store crafter's secret is for Hobby Lobby crafter's secret Hobby Lobby is one of the only craft stores around which kind of sucks, but we have all that. Have some Kobu leftover and bamboo pop sock. That's a slightly incomplete tour of my yarn stash.